Hello and welcome to Let's Get Growing and we are, by the time you see this, it'll be the start of September and it's decided everything's gone a little bit autumnal. The nights are sort of drawing in a little bit and it's got a bit cooler but it's, there's still plenty to do in the garden and it's uh, some things will uh, respond at this time of year if you know which plants to plant. So we're going to start with this week's pack. So to start with, we have got a lemon bar, uh, lemon basil. So it smells quite lemony. I don't think I've grown this before. So basil's an annual and it's also frost tender. So what we're going to do with these is we're going to grow these with the aim of growing them on a windowsill for using in the kitchen. So we'll see how we get on with that. So the first thing to do as ever is to have a look at its root system so we're going to tip it and it's got a good root system there so it's ready for a new pot so i've got the next size up pot i'm going to put some compost in the bottom i'm not going to disturb this so i am going to be growing it here in the polytunnel but a nice sunny windowsill will be good for you and it'll keep the pests off it because a lot of pests like to attack basil. So I've repotted it, put my label back, and then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch out its top just with my thumbnail. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want the plant to bush out, and there's lots more green leaves. Oh, that smells amazing! So it just needs the water. Okay, now the next plant you should have is a hollyhock. So hollyhocks, so now in autumn is a really good time for planting biannuals ready for flowering next year. So a hollyhock, we grew these from some seeds that we saved ourselves. And so same principle, we're going to have a look. And that's just about filled its pot, so I'm going to put that into... A bigger pot. Again, compost in the bottom. I'm not disturbing the plant. Got some nice peat free compost as ever. Get that in around the sides. Press it down. So we're already thinking about next summer and some how to brighten the garden up and also some food for the bees. And then the final thing in your pack should be a little flat leafed parsley. Now I don't think this is anywhere near ready for repotting. No, it's fine. I'm just going to leave it in its little pot for now. And the reason that I've chosen flat leaf parsley is because it's it is quite a tough, robust little plant, and it likes cooler conditions. So you can get lots of leaf off it during the uh, winter until it gets too cold. It's a biannual as well is is parsley. So that's easy isn't it that's this week's packs and then we're going to have a little look at some of the things from previous packs so this was my chive plant that's doing really well so again I'm going to have a look at its root system and it has it's very wet in there actually it has um it's got I am going to repot that it's not urgent urgent but because I want it to shoot into life so Again, a bit of compost in the bottom, and I'm not going to disturb that. I'm put my compost back around the sides. There we go. And then my strawberries. So these are really doing well. So I think I had two. There was one that I propagated directly from the garden to show you and this the yep filled its pot really and this is only two weeks since these were actually propagated so romping away so remember not to cover the crown up strawberries don't like they like to have the crown here exposed and if you plant them too deep they'll rot 
so you've got to remember that when you're replant, repotting them or planting them out. It's here already. We'll do the same with the other one. Okay, fab. Now, the other thing that we did last time was the Sweet Williams and I put mine, so we pricked them out a few weeks ago and I put mine into individual pots and now, I mean they're not desperate to be potted on but there's a leaf, uh, a root coming through there but I've decided I'm going to put, I put them into these pots because I wasn't quite sure what, I could do, what to do with them so now is you can either put them into a bigger pot or you could plant them outside into a flower border so what i'm going to do is put them into this nice big pot and in here i've got some a lot of homemade compost it's a bit rough but i think it'll be fine and then i've got some old compost that i grew the carrots in and i'm going to recycle that oh still a carrot in there that's just going to save some money on compost the Sweet Williams aren't fussy, so they'll be fine. So I'm going to put three together in a pot. Again, I'm not disturbing them. Space them out around the edges. And then I'm just going to top it off with some good compost. Won't get so many weeds coming through then. Okay. And they'll be for flowering next spring and summer. So that's done. It just needs the water. And then some other things to show you here, and these are rocket from last time. And you said, I remember I said they don't transplant very well, so you have to do them very carefully. And so I had a tray of the seeds that I'd sown, and I split them into two, and I'm very pleased with them. Mmm, that smells great. So they're actually ready for harvesting. So I wouldn't leave them much longer than this. I'm just going to cut at the base and I've got a nice clump of rocket right there to go into nice salad and I'm going to do the same with this one and if you leave them too long they'll just go to seed so what I'm hoping is that these will regrow so we'll see and last time we planted pansies and look at these look at them in two weeks it's amazing and that's got a flower on it already so it's going to be a nice bit of autumn autumnal color with those ones and this was the lettuce i cut and i said we might get some more off it and we have so again i'm gonna cut them off for tonight's salad we've got these lovely baby leaves there and then i'm going to see if i can get a third growth out of it so we'll see that might be being a bit greedy i've got a few tommies the plant looks like it's had it but i will leave the other ones to ripen up so again you guessed it tonight's salad peppers I'm going to leave them a bit longer you could harvest them but I'm going to let them get a bit redder it'll be a bit hotter because I like hot chilies and this is my thyme plant again just from a few weeks ago look how that's going that's fantastic I think it's filled its pot so I'm going to put it in a slightly bigger one Oh, 
compost in the base, my thyme in the middle, and then is it going to be just enough hopefully? Oh that smells absolutely amazing. Press it down and then thyme does get a bit straggly if you leave it to its own devices. I mean it will flower and it will be useful and the bees will love it but because it's like a young plant and I want it to be nice and bushy I'm going to trim off the tops and it's the same principle if you want anything to bush out just snip the tops off which might seem a bit harsh but it will respond and it did do last time you saw that so I've got some nice fresh thyme I'll find a use for that and then we're going to go outside and have a little look at some of the other plants from the previous packs So the cosmos is still going and California poppy is still romping away and the snapdragons. The rosemary is hidden in here. Oh, it's rooted to the ground. So that obviously will put that in a bigger pot. Again, I think that one's clipping down, but that's grown into quite a healthy little bush as that. The kale obviously it's been eaten a little bit cabbage whites love it but i still think it's very decorative so i'm gonna leave it and i've got a few beans on here but they look like they've gone a little bit too big might be all right you have to keep picking them the plant saying is to go to seed is to create new seed and then when it's created new seed it will die um so if you when you pick and you keep picking things, the plant has to keep reproducing and making more food for us. And yeah, it's doing okay. The poppy's a bit hidden in there. And the courgette plant, I mean, it's I'm not particularly happy with this. The ones in the ground are doing much better. Um, I think the pot's too small for it and it's not getting enough nourishment. So these yellow sort of crinkled up leaves, I'm going to remove them. I think that one's on its way out as well. And then it's tried to form a fruit, but as you can see it's quite disfigured and sort of shriveled up on the end. So I'm going to cut that off because I don't want the plant putting its energies into that. And it's got a new flower on it here. So I think next thing to do with that is to give it a good water and a feed with some comfort brew or whatever plant food you've got available. And we'll see if it perks up a bit. But that's the note to self is next year, bigger pots. Other thing that I really need to keep doing is deadheading the dahlias. So that one's gone. I should be using some scissors for that. That's a new bud. Yeah. So if you keep deadheading them, they'll keep producing until the weather cools down. Corn marigolds. It's looking good. So I think that's everything. So I hope that you're having some uh, harvesting some food and you've still got some flowers on the go and it'd be really good to see how you're getting on so if you want to put any pictures or let us know how you're doing if you've got any questions on our facebook page okay so thanks very much for watching and happy gardening